So for absolute weight on these really quickly, the F301 weighs in at about 0.39 ounces. The F402 weighs in at about 0.67 ounces. And the F701, uh, right out of the box, weighs in at about 0.74 ounces. The F301, it just feels cheap to me. It does. I mean, it's it's not bad, and it's not as cheap as something like a Bic round stick here, where this is extremely lightweight. But this just doesn't feel all that great. It's not horribly balanced by any means. It just it doesn't feel like a Premier pen. It feels like a pen you'd get in a box of twenty. It does. It is stainless, but it just. It doesn't really feel all that durable. Yeah. Now, contrast that to the F402, and now we're getting somewhere. This, to me, feels much more durable, and the weight balance of it, while it's not perfect by any means, it's not bad. And the grip, to me, I really like this grip. I I don't. I mean, if you're going to go with a grip on a pen, you, you have one of the Pilot G2s over there. I much prefer the grip on the G2 because it's it's a little bit thicker. I just prefer to have a little bit more cush when I'm writing if I'm going to have a rubberized grip. This, to me, though, feels like it has less give to it. Here, squeeze this real quick. <sighs> but it just... And then squeeze this one. I don't... It No, it just... It's too s slim, I'm guessing. I guess okay. is what I'm trying to say. I, I need to have something to hold on to, and that just kind of blends into the casing. Okay. Top of the line, you've got your F701, and this is a very nice weight and balance. It is the heaviest of the three, but with the default clicker, which is so quiet too, it just feels so nice in hand. And I personally grip pretty high up, like toward the end of the tip here, and I believe, if we look at the grips on these, yeah, there's less past the grip before you actually get to the pin tip on the F701. So even if I were to grip it around this wider part right here, right past the grip, I still have the grip to kind of rest my rest on my finger down here. So this feels really good in the hand to me, whether I'm holding it like this or whether I'm holding it down closer to the tip. And the balance feels really nice. It doesn't feel like there's a ton of weight on the back of my hand, you know, weighing me down. And you know, I really didn't think that I would like it, like the balance at first. He'll show you on an eraser how they are how they're proportioned. But um, the more that I got used to writing with the 701, the more that I liked it, and the more that I actually felt more comfortable in my hand than the other two pens did. You can see the F301 is pretty close to the center with its weight balance. The F402 is more back heavy. You can see that the ends of the pen with the clip in on the F301, you have about the same length back, but the pin is longer with the 402. And then the F701 is balanced much closer to the tip to be balanced. You can see how much difference there is between the 402 and the 701. That in your hand means that most of the weight on the F701 is down toward the tip because yeah. the balancing point's more like where your thumb is, whereas on this, the balancing point's up above your thumb, so more than half the weight is above the grip. So on the 701, the, the weight is more on the paper, and you don't have as much on your hand, which makes it a little bit more comfortable to write because it's not bearing down on your hand. Because I have better penmanship, so he says, the prof has enlisted me to do the writing sample for you. So first of all, I have the Zebra 301. It is not quite smooth but you can tell that it's fairly fine tip. Um, these all write about the same because they have the same cartridge in them, so they should have about the same tip. Here is the Zebra F402. And then my favorite. The and this one does not have a uh, stock cartridge in it. I've replaced it with a blue ink cartridge. Oh, but didn't tell me that. 701. How do they feel when you're writing? Kind of? As we had kind of talked about, this one's my favorite. It feels more balanced in the hand, and that is why I like to write with it. These pens so far, I don't know when you guys write with a ballpoint pen how many times you've noticed, and it is more to do with the 
the cartridge than the pen or even the ballpoint tip how they can be sometimes scratchy these aren't like that so this one the 701 just definitely feels more balanced and more substantial um but it does if it just feels better feels more worth your money anyway mm -hmm. and really the 402 isn't that bad either but then when you get down to the 301 it just like, like i said i compared it to the, the mechanical pencil version because I used it before I even found out about the pens and that is what I've been comparing it to is the mechanical pencil because it feels exactly the same. Set them right next to nice little labeling you've got going well, here. Glad I could help you out there. Yeah. This comes in at about a dollar ninety nine per I found them in a two pack for three ninety eight. I think you can see them like three ninety five, something like that. So just under two dollars a pen. The F four oh two is around three dollars and thirty five cents a pen ish and the f701 is about 515 for a single while you might choose one over the other i would say the only reason you would pick the f301 is its cost this is a two dollar pen it's probably the cheapest stainless steel pen you can get at two dollars and it's also very readily available i found these at walmart neighborhood markets as well as walmart super centers any of your office supply stores writing stores are going to have these kinds of things very easy to replace if you're the kind of person who loses pens easily and you want to carry something a little nicer than just, you know, what is basically a hotel pen or a giveaway pen, this is not a bad choice. Three main selling points for the F402. First, the rubberized grip. You either like it or you don't. I think for short writing tasks, it's very comfortable. <clears throat> it's more comfortable than the plastic grip here. That and for, for shorter writing tasks, I think it may be slightly more comfortable than this one, but I think as you wear on... The weight of the pen on your hand starts to kind of outweigh the comfort of on your fingertips. Mm -hmm. uh, second, the rounded clip with the ball here is pretty nice. Arguably the best clip of the three. I think so. And the clicker on this one is solid steel, which makes it louder. But if you want a solid steel pen, including the clicker, out of box, this is what you're going to go with. But my choice of the three has to be the F701. My choice as well. It just, it feels so good in the hand, and you can't really convey this very well in, an, in a video. Mm -mm. It writes well, it writes smooth, it feels good in the hand, it has a good weight balance, and it's not that expensive. This is actually the pen that I EDC because I like having a more, again, substantial, a more substantial pen than one of your cheaper options. But I also don't want to carry something that if I lose, I'm going to be out, you know, 10 bucks to replace. And, you know, if you're a business person and you need to have somebody sign something, the 701 is a nice pen to keep on hand uh, because it is it's not cheap looking, but it's not overly expensive either. Mm -hmm. And also, if you work in an area, if you were, say, a construction foreman and you work in an area where a pen might, you know, hit something hard or have something dropped on it, this is going to survive a lot better than a plastic pen. Mm -hmm. uh, it may show a little bit of wear, but it's pretty durable, I would say. Yeah. So we have some customization options, right? Yes. There's a very popular modification that people will make to the F701 to make a solid steel one. What they do is they take the clicker off of an F402. And they put it on an F701. There are video tutorials if you want to try to do this. And then another popular modification they will do is they will take out the cartridge on this, and I did not do that on this one, and put in a Fisher Space Pen cartridge. And what you get for that is a pen that total cost is like under $15 for the cost of one F701, one F402, and a Fisher Space Pen cartridge. And you get a space pen for under 15 bucks, which even your... Your cheapest space pens by Fisher are about 18 bucks. so... Only benefit to having the Fisher cartridge is that it'll write anywhere, right? Yeah. The Fisher space pen cartridge will write upside down, it'll write underwater, it'll write in extreme cold and extreme heat. We haven't tested the Zebra cartridges in any of those conditions, but they're just, they're gravity-fed ballpoints, so they won't write upside down other than the little bit of ink that starts on them. But unless you really need that, you're paying extra for a feature you're probably never using. And the tip is less fun to write with, arguably, than the zebra tips. So that was the one that he found online that a lot of EDC people do with the 
701 and the 402. As we mentioned before, I really like the clip on the 402 better than the 701. So if you can see this. Turn it on its side. It might okay, show Okay, sorry. Yeah. I asked the prof to put the 402 clip on my 701. I like the way it looks better. I, it feels nicer than the clip on the um, 701. So um, that's what he did to customize mine. And it gets rid of the billboarding. Um, the F701 does say Zebra and F701 on the default clip. I didn't even notice that. It's very subtle, but if you don't even like that subtle, you give that up here because on the 402 that writing is on the body itself. So the clip on the 402 is clean and smooth. But there's a couple of modification options if you don't like them out of the box. And really, I would say if you were thinking about any of those, get a 402 and a 701. Try handling them both. Try riding with both. You might find you like the 402 better. Uh, I thought I did at first. Like I said, for short riding tasks, I think it's great. For If you're going to be riding a lot, though, I think it is worth it to move up. But um, your mileage may vary. You may decide you really like the 402. And if you want to make a modification, you'll need a 402 to get the pieces.